Welcome everyone and let's talk about layers and layer combinations in ArchiCAD. You find the layer settings at document, layers or in your quick option toolbar on the bottom. The standard shortcut for layers is Ctrl and L, in case you're working with shortcuts. On the left side are the layer combinations, on the right side are the layers itself. Let's take a look at the layers first. These are the standard layers from the ArchiCAD default template here. And most of them are making sense, but many are obsolete in most cases. So personally, I prefer to delete all the layers when I start a new project and build my very own layer structure from scratch. You can add a new layer to the project by clicking on new. Just type in a name and that's it. Now the layer should be visible inside this list here. You can delete layers by selecting one and press on delete or the delete button on your keyboard. You can also select more layers by holding down shift or control. Talking about selections, if you want to select all layers at once, you can simply click on select all. And you can of course deselect all if you click here. In front of the layer names you can see these four symbols. The lock means that you can lock or unlock layers for editing. Any type of 2D or 3D drawing which is on a locked layer cannot be changed. ArchiCAD should display a locked layer with a grey contour line or grey contour points. Working with locking makes sense if you have several building components laying on top of each other and you want to prevent clicking on and editing the wrong part. Next to the lock there you can see this eye. And this simply shows which layers are visible or invisible. You can change the visibility by clicking on the eye. The lock unlock and visible invisible icons at the right bottom corner can be used if more than one layer is selected. You can also print your layer combinations here if you want to. The third thing to change is the 3D style. You can display single layers as wireframe if you want to. And the last thing to change is the intersection group number. It simply is the display order of elements and floor plans and sections. Number 2 will be shown underneath number 1 and so on. Layer extensions can be added through several plugins. I know them from the MEP modeler for example. And you can also add reference layers from external files to your project, for example in DWG from AutoCAD, which contains extra elements like measurements or something else. Using the filter on the top right corner, you can filter between standard layers, XRef and extensions. It often makes sense when you're working with engineers or technical planners who send you files with their own layer structures. And it can be very annoying. Before we talk about the combinations, I like to show you that every tool in ArchiCAD refers to a layer, in case you don't know it yet. Here we still see the default settings, but when you start with a new project from scratch, and you deleted all layers, it will show no layer selected. In this case you have to select a layer from the list or create a new one first. The AkiCut layer, by the way, can't be deleted. Let's talk about layer combinations. You can save a current state of your edited layers by creating a layer combination. 
In my opinion, layer combinations are indispensable when you are dealing with large projects. You can make all bearing structures visible and hide the rest, for example. Or you can let your technical plannings visible with colors and shadows while the complete building structure is shown as wireframe. Such things can become very handy. Once you created layer structures, you can switch between them in the quick options toolbar. Make sure to resave a layer combination if you added or changed layers in it. Same thing with the views. I hope this was helpful. Check out creativeform.com, follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest to get more information. Please leave a like if this was useful and leave a comment under this video if you have questions, if you have wishes, if you want to share any kind of critique or if you are bored as hell. Have a nice day and stay creative.